And I'm going to show you what we're going to do to make. I'm cutting two different sizes out. This one first. Then, see that? Then what we're going to do is we're going to cut a second one out. Now, what you do is you take this bottom layer, we'll take a little egg wash like this, egg wash the bottom, then what you can do is take the top layer that we cut, and then you press it. 375 degrees, we're going to put our shells in the oven. Now what I'm going to do is show you the beginning of this crawfish cardinal. If you can't get crawfish, don't worry. You can always, you could use shrimp, you could use lobster. We'll use a little bit of butter. Oh, come on, it's going to feed 65 people. Now what we're going to do is this. We're going to add a little bit of very fine red onion. We're going to add a little bit of garlic in here. Oh, yeah, baby. Now, I wish you could smell this already. Playing with my emotions. Okay, a little salt. A little pepper. Now... As soon as it starts getting frothy like that, we're going to sprinkle just a little bit of flour, which is going to sort of just tighten this up a little bit, okay? Sort of just like if we're making a cream sauce or bechamel sauce, right? See that? Now we've got a roux in there. Now, not only are we going to have a roux, now if it gets too thick, where it's too flowery, you're doing this at home, you don't have to call 911. You just add a little bit more butter. Don't worry. It's all going to work out. All right, so now we got the roux going on here. We're going to cook that roughly for about four or five minutes. We don't need to cook it that much. Next step. We're going to get a little color in this cardinal by adding a little tomato paste, about a good heaping tablespoon. You with me so far? You'll see where I'm going with this. Now, I'm going to work that tomato paste inside of that roux. Oh yeah, babe. Now, once we cook that for a couple of three minutes, now what we're going to do is we're going to add some milk or some cream. And what's going to happen is we're going to start stirring in that roux that we had, making sure you incorporate it in there into this sauce. So you, you don't only just have to add milk or water. What you could also do is just heat up one of those little simple... Uh, Probably do you have those little glass things of clam juice. You could use a little of that for flavor. So I just thin mine out just a little bit. And then we'll work it inside. You see that? All right, now. Oh, wait. Wait till you see what's coming, babe. Wait till you see what's coming. All right, now. Once this uh, sauce cooks for a couple of minutes, we're trying to cook some of that roux out. 20, 25 minutes in our pastry shells should be perfectly golden brown okay see how they made this little like a little dish oh yeah man <laughs> see and you can do them smaller if you want to do like a little appetizer or bigger okay if you want to do more of a an entree size now these are crawfish and they're from New Orleans this is just the tail meat Okay, add those tails right inside of that cardinal sauce mixture. 
And then what I'm going to do now is just sort of let that right over. They're already cooked, so we just want to warm them up a little bit. You see that? Crawfish cardinal. Woo! Now, getting nice and warm, nice and toasty. Oh, yeah, babe. Right at the end, I want to add a little bit of green onions to this. A little bit of parsley. And then what we'll do is we'll just take a little bit of watercress, since it's brunch. <laughs> we'll put our nice puff pastry there. And then we'll take our crawfish cardinal mixture now. We'll add that right inside of the puff pastry like that. Okay? And then just so that we don't want anybody feeling left out, we just put a few little crawfish like that, and there you have it, okay, folks? A little crawfish cardinal.